What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now today, do not slaughter me in the comments without watching the entire video. In today's video, we're going to talk about why I personally stopped buying XRP and some other coins that I am very, very bullish on. Uh, everything has a valid reason. I am permanently bullish on XRP and I will continue to cover it because XRP is arguably the most important digital asset on the entire market, fighting the SEC, fighting for crypto, and some of these altcoins wouldn't exist if it wasn't for XRP and Ripple fighting that lawsuit. Now, if we hit 1,000 likes on today's video, I will run a 100 XRP giveaway, so drop a like. Uh, the last one, the last giveaway is actually in here. We did hit our like goal, so you guys can pop into the free Gold Squad Discord uh, and enter that right there. But let's actually get into the market today. We've had some crazy, crazy stuff happening. Make sure you're following me on Twitter because I was live tweeting during the crazy liquidation flush that happened. We're going to talk about the liquidation flush that happened. I'm going to talk about where we think Bitcoin is going to go from here. I'm going to show you an open trade that I have and why I opened that trade. Uh, we're also going to talk about three regulated exchanges that I am watching very closely. Uh, two of them actually have their own token. And then at the end of this video, we'll also go over a few gaming altcoins that I'm very bullish on. But one of the main focuses of this video is going to be explaining my new XRP strategy uh, for building real wealth because it's 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 you need to hear it. So make sure you're watching until the end. 1.56 trillion on the total market cap. Let's actually bring up the trading view chart for the total market cap here and take a look at what is going on with this. Now, let's turn off our patient's kit just because we don't want to use that on the total market cap. But as you can see, we tried at that 1.5 level. We lasted a few days above it and now we are testing it again. This is going to be a true test of it does 1.5 hold. We want 1.5 to hold or else we actually could go down to 1.3 and then hopefully that holds. That did hold uh, in the middle of November right there, which is good. Uh, but I am I'm done with this range, right? This whole box right here, right? We could extend this entire box to just be like that. That is an entire range that was happening uh, and that I am completely done with. I do not want to go back there. Uh, and I just kind of want to set a new range up here for the total market cap. Now, let's talk about what's going on with the market. Let's check our top gainers first. We have Injective. We have Immutable X pumping. We're going to talk about Immutable X uh, nearing the end of this video and a new project that's launching on Immutable X uh, that I am very, very bullish on. We've got BitTorrent. We have Avalanche, Celestia. Uh, some altcoins rebounding pretty good here. If we look at our bubbles for an overview, you can see that the flush really killed a lot of stuff here. Uh, killed Luna and Lunk uh, in, a, in a big way there. Some are rebounding back though. Uh, and, and that contributes to my position that I took in Bitcoin. Uh, but let's check the liquidation. So this is CoinGlass. Great website to um, see the liquidations. Uh, live like happening as you can see yesterday we had over 350 million dollars worth of longs uh, liquidated so people who were long got absolutely flushed out uh, by the this wick right here we wicked down to forty thousand four hundred dollars uh, which was a pretty scary thing i was watching it on the 30 minute chart uh, you can see how something like this looks on the 30 minute chart um, is pretty crazy uh, right here we can see it. Uh, this was this was the wick, right? So within 30 minutes or within like a couple hours, we wicked all the way down to 40,000 from 43.7. This shows you that anything can happen in crypto. They clearly wanted to flush uh, a bunch of longs out, um, so that that did happen, and and it can be crazy. 
One of the fun websites to watch while this is happening um, is called agger.trade, A-G-G-R dot trade. Um, and you can see the live trades coming in from most exchanges. Right there, you can see a $4.2 million buy, a $2.1 million buy. So you can see the live um, the live chart. This is the five-second chart. So just wanted to show you that cool uh, cool tool to use. Now, one thing I love about our patience indicator kit right here is we could have clearly seen, and we did point this out, that Bitcoin was approaching the top of this band on the 12 hour. And what does that mean? Well, that means we're going to return to the home line, right? This middle line is where we generally return to when Bitcoin gets out of whack. So right here, we got out of whack. Again, we're out of the bands. And then we approach the home line. And we actually had some amazing clean bounces off that home line all the way up uh, until we got up to 44.7. And now we're actually in the process of hopefully bouncing off the home line and heading up here. Now, there is a lot of analysis. Uh, one of the guys I like to watch is Credible, Credible Crypto here. Shout out to him. He's been doing amazing work, like crazy trades he's been making. He says, whenever we get major flushes at this stage of the market... And by the way, if you don't know what this what is all happening, this is a flush. So there's a lot of people who were long on Bitcoin, right? They were long. They had long trades in and they had their liquidation prices, right? So you get liquidated if the price hits that. So what the market makers do and and what the market does is they want to go and flush those people out. So quickly the price drops like crazy and it liquidates everybody. Uh, and then generally it comes back up. But what he's saying is V reversals are going to be a lot more common than a sideways basing period. Now, what the heck does this mean? He's on the four hour chart and he's saying a V shaped reversal. Okay, so that's a V. So think about how a V looks, right? We pump all the way down and then we do a V, we make a V instead of a sideways basing period, which would mean going sideways at the level we flushed to or near the level that candle closed, right? So if we flushed from 44 to 41, he's saying that it's more likely that we have a V reversal and we go back, we head back up generally pretty fast versus a sideways basing period at 41K or at 40K. He's also pointing out that the open interest has been flushed back to zero. So literally a, a full open interest reset. Um, as you can see his chart down here, I'm going to turn my camera off and you can see this OI open interest reset rate right here. So look at how every single time that the open interest resets, we pump right back up, right? Which is pretty crazy. So I, I'm honestly bullish. I am in a long from 41.9 uh, right there. You can see uh, currently down 2.6%, but I am going to hold this long out. My, li my liquidation price is at 37.8, which I do not think we will go to, but honestly, anything can happen. Uh, and I probably will cut my losses if we begin really tanking. Okay. Now, uh, if you did want to get into our inner trading community, we do have patience.io. Type that in, patience.io, um, and you can grab your all-inclusive membership here. Uh, private, fully private trading Discord, full trading indicator suite, uh, and everything you need. Now, let's take a look at how XRP reacted to this. Right here on the 12-hour, you or on the daily, you can see a clear way that you could have uh, by the way, this is this is when the lawsuit ended. So that was kind of obvious that we were going to pump and then come back down. Uh, let's actually go to a smaller time frame here. Let's go to the four hour. Once again, crazy entry right here. You could have grabbed if you were watching this chart. Uh, once this got out of the bands, it's almost inevitable that it's going to come back down to the bottom of the band. That's how you use the patient's kit to get good entries. But now we're at the bottom of the band. Now, I would not say it's obvious to long here. It is not obvious to long here because Bitcoin technically is still deciding what it's going to do, in my opinion. 
what how is it actually going to react to this flush the only thing we can uh we can bank on is that time will tell us now let's talk about the title of the video here i posted this very controversial video called stop wasting your money on xrp this video requires a high iq a high a high investing iq and objective mindset to understand to preface this whole section of today's video I am permanently bullish on XRP. I've been holding this thing for six years, but I want you guys to do as best as you can in this bull market and make as much money as you can in this market. That's what I want you to do. And historically, XRP has been outperformed by basically every single coin. It's still green on a lot of time frames. And I'm still up 3x on basically every XRP that I hold. However, it is no longer feasible for me to keep DCAing into XRP. It just doesn't make sense because that new capital that's coming in. So I'm making income right every month, making income. And if I'm dumping it all into XRP, it's going to be tied up in an asset that might take a few years to really, really move. Whereas I see all these other people making gains, right, on, on finding the narratives and being able to allocate big bags of capital to that. So this is a basic smart investing 101 basic principle of diversification. All I'm telling you to do, uh, or sorry, I can't tell you anything to do. You can do what you want. I, I don't care what you do. However... I'm making it clear that my new strategy is to not buy any more XRP. My long-term bag is packed. It's ready to go. Um, and now I'm focused on the new opportunities and finding these new coins that will actually be able to 10x and 50x. Uh, and that's not to say XRP won't. But that is the new strategy. You really, really have to think um, objectively. And it's a hard pill to swallow for some people. Right. Like we only we only did half our all time high in 2021. I understand that they were battling the SEC, which was suppressing the price. Uh, but we won that. Right. It's it's basically done. So where why is there still price suppression here? <clears throat> so I'm still bullish. Still going to be covering XRP all the time. Let's move on to H bar here. H bar uh it has a new collaboration, <clears throat> sorry, in collaboration with HBAR Foundation, Data Provenance Solution, Fresh Supply Co. has integrated the Hedera token service into its API tool, continuity enabling greater transparency and verifiability across the whole value chain, boosting lending confidence through verifiable payments. Okay, another big partnership for HBAR. We also have some good news here uh, from Saucer Swap. Sorry, I'm getting some water there in my throat. Uh, Karate has been promoted to the default list of Saucer Swap. So basically, when you're on Saucer Swap, Karate token is now found in the default token menus. So making it easier to find, okay? It's crazy they had to have the DAO vote on this. I didn't actually know that Saucer Swap was kind of this decentralized, which is cool that they actually voted on that uh, through the DAO. Very, very cool. Uh, it also says it was reviewed and approved by NFT holders from Plank Epoch. Very interesting. Saucer Swap is definitely a cool one. I love their banner right here. That's so dope. That is very dope. That's a new banner too, I think. Now, oh, this was supposed to be in the XRP section, but we do have Mike Novogratz uh, saying that the XRP army is real. This is from a gated video on Real Vision. Uh, and Mike Novogratz uh, is a big player, massive player, saying that the XRP army is in fact absolutely real. Now, let's get into the three exchanges uh, two that have tokens and one that does not. Uh, this one is the first one. This is bullish, uh, bullish exchange. They do not have a token. However, this is backed by Peter Thiel. Okay, we've talked about this exchange before, but all I'm saying here is make sure you keep an eye on this one because when the exchange and regulation reckoning continues uh, and happens in a big way, these regulated exchanges are where you're going to end up. 
<clears throat> so it's worth it to get acquainted with those these exchanges and and get your account uh, in place. Now, the one that does have a crypto token is LCX. Now, I've talked about LCX for years now, I think, probably two years, um, and they are fully regulated. That's part of like their narrative and part of their branding is is preaching that they're a regulated exchange, but they do have their token. And I, I'm not sure how the token has been doing, uh, but they do have their LCX token at six cents. Now, it looks like it's kind of just picking up now. Uh, it's on Coinbase. It's on Kraken. It's on big exchanges already. And then the other one is INX. Okay, INX is making a big return here. A big return. INX is now available to Canadian residents. That's crazy. This is one I literally got in uh, with like $10,000 into INX, in, into the security token, and they had to refund all Canadian investors. Uh, if you go to my channel, and if anyone's OG enough to know uh, or to have been watching when I was covering INX, shout out to you. But we covered INX a lot on this channel, uh, and it is awesome because we just uh, brought them on as a marketing partner, so you'll be hearing a lot more about INX. They're doing their Republic note, okay? So on Republic, uh, they have the INX note live already on there. So those three exchanges you should be watching in my opinion. And then here's the two gaming projects that you should be watching. Now this is one uh, that I, me and Megan are privately uh, invested in, early investors in Xverse, okay? Xverse is both of these are not coming uh, have have not came out yet. By the way, they have not came out yet uh, with their token or their uh, TGE at all. Uh, but today we got the trailer for Xverse, um, and this is not sponsored. We have invested our own funds into this project, um, and we'll be talking about it because we're holders of it. So launching soon on Immutable. Let's uh, take a look at this trailer. It's forty nine seconds. Um, let's take a watch. So come on, that looks insane. Like that really looks insane. Uh, they are on Immutable, which is going to be very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, now, the next one is Ace, okay? And this is Fusionist. So these two, like I recommend that you go and research them and follow them. Uh, and, you know, Fusionist is a blockchain game and infrastructure layer. So they have games built on top of them, but they also have their own blockchain. Like they have their own dedicated chain for gaming, right? So they're not using Ethereum or, or anything like that. They're actually using their own dedicated chain and it's like curated to better run Web3 games. Now, Ace Token is on Binance Launch Pool. Okay, this was the announcement that just came out today. Fusionist is on Binance launch pool. You can farm ACE by staking BNB and FD USD. Very interesting. Okay, so look into this. Um, follow them on Twitter. Go and check it out. Uh, this is one that I am also in uh, for the gaming narrative. Now, let's move into the sponsored section of today's video. Massive shout out to Bybit. Bybit is one of the exchanges we are partnered with. Um, I, w I did just drop a dedicated walkthrough video. It's just a short video, seven minutes, going through the Bybit exchange and showing you some of the dope features they have. Uh, but Bybit is one of the exchanges uh, that you can use. Make sure you check the list of 
restricted countries um, because, you know, regulation has turned up a little bit uh, and your country might be on the list. But if it's not, Bybit uh, is an amazing option for you guys. They have all the copy trading. Um, they have all of these different features, inverse contracts. It's a very, very advanced uh, trading platform, right? They got everything. They got leverage tokens, trading bots. Uh, they even have OTC trading. Um, you can use some of their tools. They got trade GPT. Uh, they have a leaderboard, a position builder. They've got earning products. It's it's very expansive. Uh, and you, you can use the link in the description uh, to Bybit to get some special bonuses when you use the link uh, in the description. They also have this hot coin section, which this can sometimes, you know, show you some gems like Planet. I, I am a, I, I like Planet. Uh, if you look into Planet, it's a very, very cool project in the refi, regenerative finance space. But go check out Bybit. Uh, and then the other sponsor uh, we do have is USP. Now, USP isn't, it, they aren't a sponsor of us. We're actually advisors to the project, helping them build. Um, and they have just updated their website fully. Okay, they've updated their website fully. It's way more clean. It's it's more focused on um, showing the mission that they're doing, which is to allow people to start investing in real estate in less than five minutes from anywhere with as little as $1. So this is all about fractional ownership, right? So instead of actually owning the real estate in full and having to manage it, finance it, uh, you know, do the insurance and taxes, zoning, all the <clears throat> all the um, crazy stress that can come along with real estate um, is taken out when you use USP. <clears throat> so they have their stablecoin USPC, and then they also have their USP security token. Okay, and this is showing you why tokenized real estate compared to digital assets, compared to the stock market and compared to uh, real real estate, okay? And you can invest in trade. So right now you do have to be an accredited investor to get the security token, but they are doing a raise on Republic, uh, which you will, which everyday investors will be able to get into. So make sure you enter your email uh, there. I just did a TikTok on USP. I am so bullish on the security token market here. If we type in STO market, uh, you will go to what is the coin market cap of uh, security tokens. And you can see that it's only worth $17.9 billion right now uh, with one company taking up $17 billion of that. So security tokens are still extremely, extremely small right now. Some other ones I'm bullish on, obviously INX, XY Labs. This is actually the XYO uh, security token. Um, but USP, go check them out now. That is all we've got. Make sure you drop a like and comment on the video. Join the Gold Squad Discord and goodbye.